What's up, guys? It's your boy Ozzy. Mikey Stacks. And today we're tuned into the culture. We're on episode number six. Coming back at y'all. Hey, shout out to everyone that's been showing love, supporting, reposting, commenting yeah. on our video and the podcast. Yeah. We appreciate everyone that's listening to the po- podcast on Spotify. That's very important that you guys keep streaming and running up the plays on that so that way it spreads more and then we get an algorithm. Yeah. All right. So uh, before you start, a few things. One, uh, a lot of people who have been showing love, I appreciate it. Shout out to uh, my boy uh, Brian, my boy Daniel, of course. He always reposting it. Shout out to my family. Uh, just all, I appreciate all the love and support. I'm going to keep saying it, you know. Y'all drive us to keep doing this shit for y'all. Mm-hmm. I got people on the ship saying that they fucking with it heavy. They be listening to car rides and shit. So a lot of people, uh, a lot of people feeling us, so. Yeah. Shout out yeah. Luis and uh, shout out my boy guys back all the way in Florida. Anyway, so we want to introduce a new segment that we're doing where we like shout out like a song that we've been listening to throughout the week. Yeah. For me, it's uh, No Love for a Thug by Kodak. I heard the snippet on TikTok and it was going crazy, but they, oh, he crazy. just dropped it on April 14th. Right now it's April 21st as we record this. Yeah. That song, nice. I like when Kodak being his like melodic. Yeah, me too. Being more vulnerable bag, you know. I ain't listen to that, but I'm going to peep it out later. Because yeah, a lot of artists, you know, they, they be afraid to show how they really feel, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah. Mine's is going to be uh, The Weeknd featuring Future, Double Fantasy. You know, Future doing his thing on there. Weekend, you already know. Weekend. It's crazy. You Future, know Future's like 39, 40. I think he just turned 40. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's still dropping hits, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know The Weeknd's that guy too, yeah. so y'all check that out. It should be a... Uh, should be pretty good. We ain't gonna play it for copyright reasons, but <laughs> y'all go check this song. All right, so out. we're gonna go on the first topic. What we've all been talking about, we've been talking about this on and off screen too. You know what I'm saying? Introducing Javante Davis, twenty eight zero, and uh, King Ryan. Yeah, so, we yeah. don't care about him, but uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll just decide. I'll just decide though. And introducing Ryan Garcia. With a score of 23-0, undefeated champions. So right now, they're both currently undefeated. But I, personally, I, <laughs> me personally, though, me personally, I'm putting my money on Tank. Yeah, you know we, we go off for Tank all the way. I don't bro, care what I say. So bro, I see think, you a good fighter. I feel you, my brother. But I just don't think you're going to be enough for like, Tank, bro. That like, man's a master in the ring. Look, bro. so with Garcia, he has good counters. And he's, like, very precision. But I just don't see him having the power me to. Because... Tank has taken hits. I've seen him literally get rushed yeah. with hits, and he's still, even when he's been bloodied up by people like yeah. uh, Pitbull, yeah. he's still fighting. And we saw what he did to the other Garcia. Yeah. He pieced him up. Yeah. By the time y'all see this episode, Tank probably had not knocked him out. Yeah, so, so right now, <laughs> it's April 21st. The fight is tomorrow, April 22nd. We're in Cali yeah. right now, so the yeah. fight's going to be at 5 p.m. Yeah. They're fighting in Las Vegas. One of these days, yeah. we got to see like a fight, like a UFC match. Or a boxing match. Yeah, we got to, bro. Yeah. I need to go to one. But, yeah, I'm taking Tank all the way. Garcia, yeah. you doing a lot of talking I'm and like, shit. Well, I'm putting you lot- undefeated, though. He undefeated. Like, I give him. They both yeah. undefeated. I'm putting 500 on, uh, on Tank. I probably will, too. I just don't see it. It's not, I see. We, should, we got to make a, uh, a prediction. Hole, yeah. I, I think uh, Tank knocking him. TKO round six. Honestly, I think he might get him. Like, because they're both good fights. So, we'll see. How his because they both got stamina. Stamina is not an issue here. It's about yeah. it's about raw knockout power. Yeah. Because we've seen Tank like every time he goes for like a a counter and it's a knockout, he always does the the he always does the roll and then he goes for an uppercut and he be knocking yeah. people out. You know, yeah. So. so like I was saying, man, I just don't see Tank losing to Garcia. I mean, neither. Bro. Honestly, because like you're you're saying that he's gonna knock him out by fifth round. TKO, TKO not a full knock. I think he's gonna. He, is this gonna be too much for him? Garcia gonna be stumbling. Cause like even though like they're both like the same way, Tank just built different, bro. Like yeah, he, even like with all the weight he had to lose to. Cause I, I saw like when he was on Kai's stream. Yeah, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but he was he was looking solid, man. Like he yeah. he he, he, look, he's, he don't even look like he won fifty. Like he nah. he looked heavy in that, but he's all and the muscle, he hit all that, muscle when retention. He, when he hit his signature move, that little yeah, undercut. I'm telling you, bro, yeah. it's the it's the roll slip. And then the, it's the uppercut. Bro. That last fight he had when he knocked old boy out. Beautiful. That shit was crazy. Beautiful, bro. beautiful counter, bro. Because I've been into boxing a lot lately, bro. Yeah. I've been training and watching. It's, it's great. Yeah, man. So I'm taking big old boo 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 tank. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm putting 500 on him, to be honest. Yeah. But hey, I don't think you're going to embarrass me, but if you embarrass me, <laughs> I, I am like, I am unliking every single uh, highlight reel <laughs> and all the fights I've ever seen of tank. I'm going to be like, look, man. I said, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a picture off the wall. And be like, you let me down. 
Hopefully, he, he, hopefully he not gonna, he not gonna, you're not going to... You're not going to do money. We right. definitely going to be talking about the outcome on next episode. Yeah, so, like, like I said, today's, today's, like today's, today's the 21st, so fights tomorrow night. Next uh, next episode of the pod, we definitely talking yeah. about that. We might have to make a podcast like right after. We might have to get on live or something. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> might have to. You right. We might, we might have, have to. We have, we have to do episode six point five. Or we could Discord. do that. We could go on episode, Instagram live episode six point five. And just straight up talk about the fight. Yeah, episode six point five. We should do. Stay it. tuned. We got. We, we gonna have some cooking for that. Look, our Instagram names are on the screen. They're right above his head. Yeah. Right above my head. But yeah. for me, it's hey underscore Ozzy, H-E-Y underscore O-Z-Y. For you. Mikey underscore stack 757. Yes, sir. So uh, you got to check it out. Yeah, I see that blue check on my yeah. shit, too. I'm verified. So you know I'm live we up. DM Wood Boys, we up. All right. All right. Uh, we were talking about AI. Oh, yeah. AI Drizzy. So this is guy. His name is like Ghost Riders something something. There's some numbers. And he made a song called, uh, what is it called? Hard on, my, hard, on the, hard on the Sleeve or yeah. something. Hard on the Sleeve. And it's. It's an AI of Drake and The Weeknd. In case y'all don't know what AI means, artificial intelligence. Yeah. Y'all should know that. So Some it's don't. not. He, so what they did was they used they took samples of Drake's voice and The Weeknd's voice to make a full a like two minute and forty five minute song or something like that. But with crazy, it's, it's it's actually <laughs> that's the crazy. And, and it's not even like it's not even just they used their voice. He used like their the, their cadence yeah, and, and their, their flow. flow. Like, like that shit is dope. dope. Jinx. <laughs> I'm up a free spark, baby. It is a uh, that shit was dope. That yeah. shit was hard. I'm like, why is this sound? I was literally reading the comments on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. Everybody's like, why is this song so hard? So what the music labels are trying to do? They're trying to they so they took every, so he had the the Ghostwriter guy. He had the song streaming on Spotify, Apple yeah. Music. The label had all of it shut down, but he's just gonna keep reposting it. Yeah. What my pr- proposition is that the label should do is they should have Drake remake the song. With the weekend, yeah. with all the lyrics, because they, they they might be able to copyright the lyrics, but they can't really copyright the yeah. song because it's their voice. So if you want the AI users to stop making money, just have the real artists yeah. perform the song and then make money off it, and then they just lose. Because they, they try to counter, so they're like, how are you going to counter this my some, intellectual property of my voice? There's been some more AI. I heard like some AI, Rihanna, Free Tims, yeah. Free Minds. I, I heard like, AI of uh, Juice World, Juice and, World. And, and Lil Uzi with a song together. I feel like AI should only be used for artists that are deceased. Yeah. Because, you know how they were talking about Snoop Dogg was like, what he, somebody asked him what he think about a Biggie Tupac AI album. That shit low key might be hard. Fine. You know, maybe. Dude, that I, shit will be hard. Life after death. Rest in peace to the goats. But yeah, that I, shit will be hard. Life after death. But would, would they finally reconcile? You know what I'm saying? That would be, <laughs> that would be a nice little movie where like they like you know what all that beef was unnecessary and then they just they squash it over through like a, a little yeah. thing that would be pretty cool and then there was two more Drake songs that popped one called like one it's time called like Cold Winter Cold Winter's yeah. Cold and One Time them shits was hard too bro I yeah, posted one of, of them on my Instagram story some of y'all might have seen it but I deleted <laughs> it because I didn't want to get fucking reported for that fucking uh, copyright yeah, shit yeah what, what he said he said he said I popped out like Bieber just a flex I'm like, <laughs> it sounds like some shit was he would like, say bro I was like I was like Drake and I'm speaking of speaking of Drake <laughs> I was saying that I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised that uh, Soulja Boy is going to be the first rapper to make his own AI. So <laughs> yeah. he, he, said, he said, I'm Soulja Boy. I'm Big Draco. I'm the first person to make an AI song by myself. That He's shit like, would be funny as fuck. I would, I probably would support him. If I, he I actually like, did, I would I would stream his album to listen yeah. to that shit. Bro. I would like, that would be funny. So this boy just on his on his Twitch because you know he be on Twitch playing games and stuff. He's spazzing out on Instagram too. No, I'm not gonna lie about the New Jersey shit when he was like, "Sorry to switch the subject real quick," but that's was funny. He was like, "I will not take none of you hoes out out to eat." Remember that shit? Someone was like, "They were like a hundred thousand dollars for dinner with us." No, it said three hundred fifty dollars is food stamps. <laughs> oh, or dinner yeah. with so Yo, hard. they didn't even they didn't even give him like a, a they didn't give him like a they, they did for Jay Z they did five hundred thousand right yeah. But for uh for 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 Soulja Boy, they had three hundred fifty dollars in food stamps. They did that for both. He was like, he said, he said, so they're like Soulja Boy fell out. Honestly, three hundred fifty food stamps can go a long way. I'm like, I said, but she's she not wrong though. However, that shit went. That was, nigga got they mad. Violated, they violated. He said, I was gonna take y'all hoes out anyway. <laughs> that shit was funny. He was really Shout out to Soulja Boy, Big Drake, uh, Big man. Big Drake. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he was like, he said, slap. Sweat. <laughs> you, you heard that little freestyle you did on Adrian Ross's <laughs> switch? That, that freestyle was actually the way he was on topping and shit. But yeah, that freestyle was hard, but the way he did on Adrian Ross, he was like, Speaking of Twitch, though, 
Wait, I like the transition. We talked about Kai earlier. So I far a lot of y'all may know Kai Sanai. He's like the most popular streamer on Literally, Twitch he, right he, now. He, he went over to Black it. Nigga with Dreads. He yeah. did a 30 day streamathon. I don't know if y'all big into streaming, but a lot of y'all some don't. Look, over two hundred twenty thousand. Uh, yeah, subscribers. he broke the record for most and subscribers. Mind, you gotta remember this. A minimum the the basic membership the basic subscription on Twitch is five dollars. So do yeah. five dollars times two hundred thousand. That's yeah. over a million dollars. Yeah. Off the revenue from the basic streams. Yeah. So like, speaking of that though, they banned his ass. They said it was was for some sexual content, but, but we all know because look, yeah. Tell him why they tell him why they really banned. Because he looked like this. Because he's black. 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 He's a black man with with, with a chest tats and arm tats. They're like, we, and also the other thing was that he he was so Kick sent him a pair of custom off white uh, Air Force Ones. And with like his name and stuff on there. Kick, the kick shoes was hard. Those uh, they said the the shoes that Twist said the the uh, the high Air, Air Force One. They said it looked like some shoes. He, he played the song. He was like, "It's giving," and he played the "Shake It Up" theme song from Disney. Like, "Shake It Up, Shake It Up." That shit, them shits was uh, trash. The kick ones was hard, but the, the Twitch they, ones was they had, trash. They had like a little digital green on there. I should have seen Homeboy reaction when he seen the Twitch shoes. He was like. And then when he seen the kick shoes, he was like, he said, oh, this is lit. In case y'all don't know, kick is another streaming platform like Twitch, Rumble, kick. Those yeah. are like the competitors, competitors for yeah. live streaming shit. I'm so. telling you, man, Twitch, Twitch is down because they fumble this bag. Kai can literally go to any. I heard he got, I heard kick offered him like 50 million. Bro, if he takes that deal, it, Twitch That's is crazy. I'm like, I'm like, 50 million is crazy. I would single handedly delete my Twitch account and move over to all the other stuff. Facts. Like, I'm not even on Twitch heavily, but so I'm literally on there for AMP. For uh, for I'm Dante, I'm like, Kai, and AMP and uh, RDC World. That's it. I'm, I'm on, on there for like, academics. That's all. Yeah. Oh yeah, and annoying TV. I'll be yeah. watching him. You are annoying. Yeah, I know. He's the one that started with the 2K. He did that video where like he pretended to be a little Tekka, and then yeah, that, he looked like yeah. But he his should be going hard. But yeah. I only watch like Ak and annoying. Yeah, I think TV. I and probably, Silky too. I probably watched like eight people. You no know Silky. Yeah. Is, you know him and annoying. They live together. Yeah, they from New York. Like, yeah. They live in New York. They know they live in Miami, oh, but they, they are from New York. Okay, okay. But yeah, so, so. so Twit uh, Kai, hopefully you get your money. Bro. Yeah, so they're they're saying that it was sexual mm -hmm. conduct, but like if anyone's watched any of Kai's streams, anytime he has women on the streams, always be like, hey, make sure your clothes are good. Da, da, da. Yeah, he always says TOS, which yeah. means terms of service because they don't want to violate yeah. anything. So like, because I think the first time they banned him was when he was eating edibles on on the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but they were like, it's not because you're eating edibles, because you're promoting like uh, disorientedness and da, da, and then he got his account because he got banned. His stream got banned like literally yeah. the day before he started the subathon. Show my nigga Kai some love, man. He deserved it, man. So, he, far he brought y'all a lot of money, Twitch. So what they did in the meantime, because it was supposed to be Javante Davis Tank on the stream with him for Twitch. But because they couldn't do that, they went on Instagram Live. And they had like, I think at the highest, they had like 300 some thousand yeah. people on short notice, mind you. Yeah. So anyone that would have been on Twitch, they would have been notified. But since not everyone that follows him on Twitch follows him on Instagram, they didn't get the notification. Yeah. It was really sucked. Because imagine you pay $5 for the month and like... Oh, yeah. Right, granted, I think that was like a few days ago. So it was like the 18th and 19th. Yeah. So like, the month's almost over, but imagine you pay $5 for a month subscription and then they cancel the person that you subscribe to, and then like now you can't access their content. You're just like, bro, what the heck? Yeah. So now you're just, you're just mad. It's salty, like, bro, Twitch, give my refund. Like, they, yeah. I would have to scrap with Twitch. Yeah, hopefully they figure that out. Yeah, I guess you could say Twitch they're tweaking when they're twitched out. <laughs> That's my little dad. All right, nigga, next topic. Oh, we going to talk about. <laughs> Let's talk about Draymond Green real quick. Hey, man. <laughs> that man did the Aton stop on a, a Sabonis, yeah, he, man, he, in the he, playoffs. He was, like, uh, she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I shared a meme on my Instagram story. That shit was funny, boy. They had him doing Mario, skateboarding, all types of crazy shit, boy. Yeah, man. That shit was funny. Draymond, why are you always getting kicked out of games, bro? You see what happened in 2016. Man, against, he's kicked people in the nuts before. Like, he kicked people at LeBron. He kicked people. He done all types of... He punches, like, all, he punches his own teammate in the so offseason. They're saying that What's wrong with you, they're Draymond? Saying, they're saying that when he first started, right? He was like, oh, his, the dude's arm was around his leg, so he shook yeah. it off. And I was like, that's cool and all. So he just yeah. kicked him off. But then he started stomping. That's when he got excessive. Yeah. There's one thing. Somebody, if someone grabbed one to you, you're going to be like, get off me. Yeah. Get off me. You know what I'm saying? But like... Stomping them, bro. Come on, bro. What are you, an angry New Yorker? Don't get me wrong. Homeboy should not pull his foot, but come on, Draymond. You're already in the spotlight. You, they, they fucking, uh, they, they suspend him because they said uh, he has a history of unsportsmanlike conduct, and which he does. Forget you're black. Every, black men are always held to a higher always standard. Always a target, athletes, right? You saw what happened with the LSU girl. Like, all she, she didn't even do anything. All she did was say, "You can't see me." She didn't even curse nobody out or say anything disrespectful. Yeah. All she did was just. 
That was like the equivalent of a celebratory dance when you like get a touchdown yeah. and you score a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Draymond, man. I don't like you as a player, but you're still a black man. So I do want to see you succeed, man. Just... I don't think you're going to be on the Warriors yeah. next season, my brother. My supervisor Just get, work, your, get your act together, man. As my brother. supervisor, we're always say, do better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it in sports. Uh, what else was there to talk about in sports? Oh, yeah. Odell Beckham. Yeah, so apparently he got arrested for uh, allegedly. And he's not going to say allegedly. <laughs> he, 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 he I will that. cap. He, I don't he, believe he did it. That. I don't think he did because the the article said they. Let me let me stop you right there, right? You know, how I don't like, think Odell. No, really. let me, hear me out for a second. You know how like the man, he got the reach. He be doing this. What if she was behind me? He started. He started. He started hitting her with the. Uh, started, I don't think he did. I, I think he. I think he did that. I think. He I read did. the article. They said they looked at the footage at the Delada restaurant in L.A. and they said they didn't see nothing. The owner of the restaurant said they looked through all the footage, security camera. They didn't see him. They didn't see him because he, he did one of these. He he uh he pulled out his wallet. And he he started pulling out some cash. He was like, hey, he, he, he was like, hey man, hold. hold. I take it though. Whoa, 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 slow your rolling. I gotta pay rent. You know what I'm saying? You live in the barracks, nigga. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What's out here? For now, you out here putting barracks. me on blast like that, man. No, they already know. You gonna drop the low too? You gonna drop the low? They wanna give him the ladder too long too? But they, you know they should be. Yeah, you in California. It's barracks in California. Whoa, 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 whoa. They see out here. Draw a snitch. They ain't coming, bro. So, imagine <laughs> if I was dropping your location telling people what neighborhood you live in. Relax. I, you lucky I, you lucky I live in a gated community. <laughs> <laughs> if I live in a gated community, I'd be kind of scared. But like, you know, you know, they they be up, they be up and pulling on people around here, man. They, they be like, hey, man. Oh, uh, so they be they be they be shooting at people, man. Again, though, back to the subject, nigga. Odell Beckham, you're a black man, you're a target. I don't think you did it. I think you're innocent. But just stay out of them situations, my brother. You just signed an eighteen million dollar contract with the Ravens, man. Just Bro, we, stay low, man. Get your really, money. We really man. gotta talk about how at least they be so quick to violence against so why why don't y'all ever be quick to violence when it comes to grown men? What? Like uh athletes. Oh. Because mm-hmm. you remember Ray Rice? Yeah. Like, oh, nah, that shit was on video. I'm he not, like, shit. even though she spit on him, I would have pushed her, but I would have never like he started strangling her and dragging her. Like that was O D. That shit was crazy. crazy. Ray Rice, we ain't never heard from him again after that. So. That, boy, that, boy, <laughs> that boy ruined his, his contract so quick. He ruined everything, boy. He had just won a Super Bowl, too. Bro, I haven't seen an Ali of career that fast since uh, Gilbert Arenas. What, what, what 2 Chase say? He said, I bring my guns to work like Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie, Gilbert. You, you was really hooping, too. Like, really? If Gilbert Arenas never got arrested, he could have got a ring. He could. He really fumbled like. He fumbled the bag for real. A lot of niggas be fumbling the bag. Not just the bag, his legacy, bro. Because now, anytime people bring up his playing ability, they're like, damn, bro, how come he didn't want to shoot it, though? They're like, <laughs> <laughs> get it, shoot it. Oh, no. Ah, he, went he, over your head. He, he, right. Nah, I mean, it probably <laughs> went over his head like the, the bullets he was shooting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Speaking of people fumbling the bag, Mikey Williams, San Diego native, man. Damn, he, he, high school prospect. He's he making the Mikey name look kind of wild out here, man. I don't know. I'm chilling. But Mikey Williams, bro, he called like five felony assault charges. Shame Aggravated you. assaults, man. You was about to go to you was gonna go to the league. He said it was self-defense, though. He said a nigga came in his crib, he told him to leave, and they started gibbering. He had to pow, pow, pow. Luckily, nobody got killed or nothing. But again, my brothers, my black brothers, please try to stay out of, especially when you got a lot going for yeah, you. You gotta activate that Dr. Umar. Please. My just... brother in Christ. Stay away from the danger and the hooliganism. <laughs> please. Stay out the trenches. Please. Please, my black brothers. And anybody. Not just black people. No. Anybody. Just stay out of these stupid no, you situations, know, you know, especially when you got a lot going oh, for you. My coworkers. Shout out, shout out young, young Liz over here. She was talking about how like... Uh, Who's young Liz? You know, Alyssa. Oh. The, it was, she was talking about how the, the alley to, to street to street uh, gangster pipeline is hilarious. She said, where where where'd that come from? Because oh. like alleys, they start... They're hooping every day after school, and all of a sudden, the moment they get to college, they tow guns. They got, they got, they they moving. I'm like, why are you, why are you out here moving work? <laughs> the only thing you need to be moving is is the rock on the court. But same thing field. with like, same thing with rappers and actors too. Like they still want to live this lifestyle when they was like, come on, you, you, you're you make you made it, my yeah, brother. What, what did Drake say? Rappers want rappers want a ball, and uh, ballers want to rap. Yeah. Shout out Drake to go, man. I'll shout Drake out like like every like episode, you, too. I, feel like you do I will shout, shout him out like, every time. I don't hey, care if y'all well, get mad or I not. I bet you by the end of the season for this podcast, we're going to have a uh, shout out Drake counter. Because this man, we already like at 10, 12, man. Like, like, hey, shout out my boy Drake. Shout out Six Guys. Shout out uh, Juicy Drake. Shout out Shout out uh, He's the Drake. GOAT, man. Just shout out Juicy. These people don't want to accept it. I seen some shit today. Jim Jones talking about uh, Jay-Z versus Drake. And Jim Jones was speaking facts. Y'all check my Instagram story too. Well, it, might, it probably ain't gonna be there by the time y'all see this, but yeah, I posted it on what day? What's the day? April twenty first, day after four twenty. 
I know y'all niggas is still high and shit, but still check it out. Hey, that nigga was speaking facts about Drake, bro. To go to the Breakfast Club Instagram, bro. Now, you know, when you go to a club, they're they going to play at least one Drake song. <laughs> yes. Do you hear Jay-Z like that? No. You might hear Empire State of Mind. Ooh, yeah. That's it. Drake, they'll have, they, knew, they literally have full sets of Drake songs. Hit they, after hit. They, after have, they, hit have, after they have a Drake song for like when you're trying to get the girl. The Drake song for after you get the girl. The Drake song for when to leave the girl. Drake song at the club when you get to the club. Like, you have the Drake song for when you get the girl pregnant. You got <laughs> the Drake song when you're trying to wife the girl. The Drake song when you're trying to dunk the girl. Yeah. Drake really got a song about every different scenario you can have with a woman, Facts. to be honest. With That's you. why he didn't go. Billboard Drizzy. Billboard Drizzy. Mr. Ovio himself. <laughs> Facts. What else? Right. What else we got to talk oh, about? Let's talk about that Cola Ray and a uh, oh, yeah. lot of things. <laughs> Wow, why the why the ladies? You know, <laughs> in an industry surrounded in a in an in a industry like saturated with men, you would think that the women would be like more. They would be like like this. They would be, they would be locked right. in, right? If we locked in, ain't no switching. On, if we locked in, ain't no switching. On. Why why are the women beefing? So like, for what? Let me get the backstory. Apparently, Lotto dropped a song last night where she said smoking a blunt as small as Coyle Ray or some shit like that. They mind you, they Coyle Ray get mad. They never like interacted before, so the this somebody that you've never met and yeah. like never talked to is kind of wild. Not not kind, it is wild. It is wild. Coyle like, Ray got mad and uh, she said, "Why are you talking about my size?" Da 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 da. Because you gotta remember that on social media, everybody knows like body positivity. Don't talk about the skinny girls. Don't talk about the big girls. But then the moment someone does it that's popular, everybody's like, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, he said, oh, were you talking about so-and-so? Nah, she wasn't. She, she didn't mean that. She talking about something else. It was, it was a misunderstanding. They love, I don't know why, but it's like, I feel like since there's so few female rappers, yeah. women in the in the rap industry, yeah. y'all should be like teamed up, bro. Like, the industry is already against you as it is because you already know how dudes are like, oh, women rap about the same thing. Well, male rappers rap about the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah I'm going to tell you who started all this. Who? Nicki Minaj. She be for every new bitch, except for Ice Spice. They dropped a song. She love that girl, but she be for every new up and coming female rapper once they get hot. Cause she don't want nobody taking her spot. I don't think she she didn't be for that. What's Nicki Minaj, girl? you're an old angry fucking grandma. She didn't she didn't be for Lola Brooks. Or Lola Lola Brooks. Sorry, Lola Brooks. Nah, she was like, like, give me, he's like, Mwah, give me okay. peso, Mwah. She be for Little Kim, Remy Ma, Cardi B. Lotto, Megan Thee Stallion. You, you hit the table one more time. You might, you might knock the camera off. Oh, hey, everybody, since he flexes, he out here knocking the table. <laughs> Fuck out of here. So, uh, he, he, he be trying, he be trying to box too. Like, I mean, you the buff nigga. Everybody say you buff in the yeah, video. Nah, Niggas like, why is he so buff? You look, yeah, hey, you nigga, crazy. Yeah, you take that currency, ain't nah, you? I just be taking protein, bro. This protein shit. Yeah, buff, water. man. Ain't like, nah, you I mean, might have to box tank next, boy. Oh, so you're older. He, he said, I'm above his weight class, man. <laughs> Also, even if I wasn't above his weight class, he, he would definitely slump me. I think Tank can slump some people outside his weight class, like for sure. Yeah, Tank that dude, man. Bro, I got, I got like, I got like maybe five hours of boxing training max. Like I mean, I'm losing expeditiously. I'm excited for that fight tomorrow, boy. Uh, what else? Yeah, but yeah, they started beefing all this shit, Twitter jabs and shit. Speaking of Twitter, if you're a celebrity and you ain't paying that eight dollars, Elon Musk coming for your blue check, except for maybe LeBron and a few. And other you know, it's funny. They're, they're gonna be like, "Well, I'm not gonna use Twitter anymore." I'm like, you say that, but us, even after all the money has been going down for the stock of Twitter, yeah. people are still using Twitter. Twitter they don't use Twitter. Twitter's got more entertaining than it has in a long time. Ever since Elon's been on, it's been mad funny. I'm not gonna lie. Elon Musk, he's he a funny guy, but he's also the richest guy in the world, so he's doing something. Right? When I'm going to get rich in the Bill Gates, Bill Gates like, oh, thank God. No, no one's going to know how rich no, he is. No, he's the richest guy in the world. Yeah, yeah no, I said Bill Gates got happy. He said, fine, I'm not in the top. He's still in the top five. Man. It's so crazy how he's so rich. I don't see that many Teslas. I see him out in California. Besides Cali, yeah, I don't, don't see Teslas, Teslas like that. It's not just about the Teslas, right? He has the solar panels. He has SpaceX probably. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He's literally working with the government for SpaceX. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and remember yeah, the space for the space X. Remember the Wi-Fi we had, we had yeah. on the planet? The Starlink. The yeah, Starlink. He, he he's literally in everything that people, people don't even realize. It, bro. I didn't realize. You know, I forgot you know, about all that shit. Did you forget that he owns PayPal? Oh, he don't. He he's literally started PayPal. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, he did. So anytime you make a trip, oh, I gotta look this up. No, you know, he don't. Believe, when it comes to money, I never heard that. When it, when now, it, if he did that, when, yeah. when it comes to money, I'm always in discussion, man, because I I be I be keeping up. Literally, so he made it like when he was like like in his twenties, bro, like. He really, he really started PayPal. He's about to go fact check because he don't believe me. But he didn't start. Just type, just type in PayPal founder. So why are you searching for that? Look, so you have. I don't see Elon Musk. So look, <laughs> or no, he or he owns it. Look, he bought it. 
Yeah, look, he bought it from. Uh, he bought it. Yeah, so he owns it. So he didn't. Okay, so mine was he didn't start it, but he bought it from them in two thousand one. He bought it right from uh, from Max Levchin, Peter Thiel, and Luke N- Nasik. So he bought it in two thousand one. So he owns it, but it says he don't own a stake in it no more. Mm. Regardless, he he invested. But he found it. But he used his investments to file SpaceX, Tesla, and Solar City. Yeah. So that was the solar panel. So he still he. I guess you kind of right. He did have it, something it, to do with it. His hands in a lot of stuff. Were like, man, yeah, that's it, it is. And now he's trying to do the boxable homes. For like uh, the small, the smart, the small smart home where it's like it's it's a mobile home that you can move yeah. anywhere. Yeah. So like you want to change your location, you just put the house on the trailer and you move it. Yeah. So man's definitely up there for sure. So what else? What else we gotta talk about? Um So we talked about Mikey. Oh, you know what? I feel like with the whole AI thing, I just I just wanna ask you guys a question. You guys can go ahead and leave a comment below. What do you think how do you think AI is gonna affect the rap game? Do you guys think AI will kill it? Because everybody's always saying that, oh, this is gonna kill rap, this is gonna kill the industry. But I feel like that shit's not gonna just fuck with rap. It's gonna expand to all genres. Yeah. It's not gonna just be rap. People music. people have always seen it be used to rap, you're right. But eventually people are gonna use it the AI to make I feel like the biggest avenue for AI music right now is to use it for artists that no longer exist. So if, yeah. imagine they use like AI for Prince, Michael Jackson, Big for, all, Pop, for all the Bob Beatles, Marley. all the Beatles that aren't here anymore. That that would be big money. So if if the AI is funded by the people that are running the labels, because someone made a good point, I saw in like one of DJ Academics comment section, they were like, they already took the soul out of the artist. So the AI taking the soul out of the music, how would it be any different? And I said, dang, that's kind of that, crazy. That does make that's sense. deep when you think about it like that. That is pretty deep. Yeah. So they really just like. The music industry is, is always evolving, but I don't think AI can kill rap because at the end of the day, you still need a human input. Though you can't yeah. just put a you can't put a beat up to the to the software and just start doing yeah. it. You still have to input commands into the software. Yeah. So until that AI is like a machine that walks up, it takes consciousness, creates a body, and then goes straight to the studio and starts recording like that. Yeah, music still requires motion. In order for it to have motion, it needs a basis. So without a reference track, AI can't thrive. So it's yeah. not gonna work. We'll, we'll see if this AI shit gonna be a trend or fade away. Yeah. We'll just have time to see. Uh we gotta talk about that YSL trial. Yeah. The antics going wow. on. Hey, man, what sure. little Raw was screaming and shit got escorted out. Yeah, and then they, they said that one of the They said they found some weed in his drawers. No, yeah, and they said the the lawyer had prescription drugs. Apparently you can't have prescription drugs at a trial for some reason. I don't know why that's a thing. That's also, the, the, this ain't really bad, but the lawyer, he told Cap to the judge, what'd he say? <laughs> he, said, he said, that's Cap. <laughs> that's just funny. He, 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 he was like, your honor, that's Cap. And then they asked him about it later. He was like, I was just telling him that it was, I think it was, he was wrong. He was false. I had to tell him it was Cap. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, this is, <laughs> this is kind of like the 10K situation, right? Everybody's snitching. So, like, I, I hate to say it, but it looks like Young Thug will go to jail. Yo, it doesn't seem like the same one in the whole trial. It seemed like the the drawer, the drawers got fucking uh had to go to jail or write an essay. So it's just miss. I don't know if y'all been following this young thug trial, but it's been a lot of buffoonery and coonery going on, bro. Like this shit is wild. Look, to the me. way I see it is when it comes to Rico cases, no one's ever, no rapper has ever won a Rico case. Six nine, he low key did. He only got two years. And what, and what did he get out of it? Yeah, he rich, but like that man, he snitched. You see, you see how you see how me right now, I shit go, gonna be I, oh, I gonna beat the case. Well, he didn't, he didn't beat the case. He he he, he said he was gonna tell. <laughs> he ain't doing forty plus years. Not doing forty plus. Shit, but, Casanova's still locked up. When he getting free? I, that's what I'm saying. But, but he I, ain't snitching though. Rapper, he ain't cooperating. Rappers can't be a Rico case without snitching, bro. It's just impossible. Like TK, everyone that was involved in the case, they put they pinned it on him. Even if you. Even if you may or may not have been guilty, if four, if more than one person says that you did it, they're gonna be like that. We can expedite this case results quickly by just accepting this. Because they want this how the this how the government works, right? The feds they want the high profile people. So when it came to like six nine, they're like, yeah, you're high profile. But the 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 trade what is it, the trade bloods gang, they have a whole bunch of like shoddy and all those other people. They said, well, they're more high profile. Same thing with the Bobby Schmurda and the GS nine case, the Gorilla yeah. Gorilla Stone. Real Estate Nine. Oh, yeah. They want all see, the. They don't care about the though. small people. They want the big. Yeah, exactly. He didn't beat the case. But he had to do eight he years. Did, yeah, he did eight years in jail. And even with the deal he made, him and uh, Roddy Graham were supposed to get out. Roddy got out time, him. But his probation officer was like, nope, don't care. 
Yeah, but he did. So he, he made an agreement. You, 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 you're black. You're skated. But he made an agreement. That's why I fuck. I respect Rock Bobby. He made an agreement so where Roddy did less time than him. My only my only disappointment with Bobby Schroeder is that when he got out, he, he ain't made no music. He's, yeah. he's dropped like he's dropped like ten. Songs, yeah, hella like, hype. But, but like he, the only song that he dropped, he only dropped two good songs. He made a song with Quavo, and then he made a song called Six Minute Freestyle. But my problem was that Six Minute Freestyle should have been the first song he dropped because he didn't have the first day out. Yeah, he didn't, okay. he didn't capitalize. He, you know, when he was doing every time going to guess what this man's doing? Dancing, twerking. No, he's not. He even, was dancing, twerking a lot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's not twerking. Just. If a guy move his hips, they gonna say it's they say he's doing some feminine z- zesty shit. But anyway, I don't know. every time you're on Instagram, you always laid up in the bed with some random girl. <laughs> they say he one with a transvestite one time. That's what they say because it was a, it was a, it was a wig, and they're like, oh, it looks like this one person. But regardless, Bobby Schmurr, he need, he need to get right with God and stop stop letting all these creatures in his in his house. He out here letting like random women in his abode. What a mic's at, bro? The what? The mics. The mics? Oh, we didn't even use the mics. So I forgot. <laughs> oh my God. Are they gonna be able to hear us? <laughs> what what color did I say? I hope so. <laughs> wow. Sorry, yeah. this episode the, the value might be a little low because we yeah. forgot to put the damn yeah, mics on. We were so excited to get right into the topic that we just started recording. Imagine uh, if I run back if I run back on this footage and like there's, <laughs> there's like no volume, I'm gonna be like, that's tough. Right. Hold on, we might we might you wanna check real quick? You wanna yeah. pause the check? Yeah, we're gonna no if, if we're, we're we're about to wrap up anyway, y'all. But go ahead and uh, keep tuning into the culture. <laughs> go ahead, like this video, share this video with your friend, and go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you click the link in the description below because it's going to have the link to the podcast. You can yeah. listen to us on Spotify or the podcast. The long, the long car ride, Spotify, yeah, boy. You, you whip it around. You got to get to work. You're on your way after work. You're heading to the gym. You need, you need a little something funny to listen to while you're working out. Yeah. You want to hear two black guys just banter about some, some, some nonsensical stuff in the culture. You, know <laughs> you want to hear? You want to hear me say... Look, look, young man, you need to tighten up. You know, you're acting a fool. You want to hear me shout out Drake? I know you do. Checking it too. He do love love shouting out OVO Sound. (laughs) One day he's going to be a guest on OVO Sound. That's what Drake be doing. He's 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 going to say, you know, he's going to be like, you know, Mikey, I appreciate you always shouting out the boy. You know, he said, I never told you, but I've always been watching the podcast. Oh, hell yeah. He's like, he said, he's going to be like, he's going to be like this. He said, he said, you know, I really rock with you, right? He yeah. Said, he said, either way, here's 10 free tickets to the next one. Nah, fuck that. Time. I want some money, nigga. <laughs> I'll take some drinks. Yeah, like, we offer you free tickets, you're going to take it. Yeah, and all day, like, backstage, VIP, he, he, front, he, front, front row. Yeah. How you going to say backstage and front row? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one or the other, man. Can't get both. They're going to be like, look, man, I can pull some strings, but I'm not pulling all the strings. Let's, let's calm it down a little bit. Alright man, but this is Tune Into the Culture, man. It's your boy Mikey Stacks. My boy Ozzy and we out. Stay tuned. Peace. Man.